Hey guys, welcome back once again to Niagara Fire Corals. Today I'm going to show you guys how to save a ton of money on your Triton reagents. Okay guys, before we get into the video, I'd like to just put out a special thank you to Blue Water Corals for giving me a two month kit of the ABC reagents so I could do a review for you guys. Make sure you check them out. They're at bluewatercorals.ca. All right, let's get into the video and uh, we'll have a look at what's inside the box. Okay guys, so this is the two month kit that uh, Blue Water was nice enough to supply to me. We're gonna open it up, we're gonna see what's in the box. However, I'm gonna tell you guys a little program that they have in place that's gonna make this even easier for you. But that'll be a little later on when we talk about it. For now, we're just gonna have a look inside the box and we'll see what you get. Well, that was unexpected. I know it's hard to see guys, but uh, they even put a nice little towel in there, Blue Water Corals towel. So look at that. There's a freebie. I didn't even know that was in there. And then you can see we have our B and C reagents. One bottle of each. And then of course we have our two A reagents. So these are your alkalinity, two bottles, just like we're used to getting. And then your B and your C. Well, it's a full two month kit. We're gonna have a look at how we use this product. So these bottles here, they don't fit in the Trident as they are. So you just use your original bottles that you had with your original Triton reagent. You dump these into those bottles and you're off to the races. Now what Blue Water offers, which is an amazing program, is just bring back your empty bottles that you already have and they will swap it out for ones that are already filled for you that'll fit right in your Triton. So you don't even have to worry about doing this part. I'm just doing this to show you guys this is an option, but uh, yeah, if you're local to, to the area and you can get to Blue Water Corals, you can do the, uh, the trade-out program with them and just bring in your empties and swap them out. Okay guys, so it's super easy. I have some of my empty bottles here are ready to go. You just take your reagents, just give them a little shake. Open up the bottle and just pour it into your original bottle. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill the rest of them and then uh, we'll, we'll carry on with uh, the next steps here. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's a full two month kit refilled and uh, we're ready to go. So we'll head on into the Trident. I'll get these bottles installed and uh, we'll start working on the calibration and setup of the Trident. Get it running again on these new ABC reagents. All right, guys, so I didn't bother showing you me actually installing the bottles, but three bottles are in here now. Just obviously you wanna make sure that you put C into your C bottle B into your B bottle, A into your A bottle. So CBA, they're all installed, ready to go. Just put that back in there and uh, let's go calibrate and uh, start running off these ABC reagents. All right guys, now that we have all our reagents installed in the Trident, we'll just go ahead and go through the calibration. So to start your calibrations, you're gonna wanna click on this icon here. Once you get in here you want to go down to the Triton calibration screen and click on that.
All right, so this is just telling you that if you haven't had it up and running for 48 hours, you should before you uh, proceed with this. I'm guessing that anyone that's looking at a different type of reagent has already been running their Trident for more than 48 hours. Also, um, it's just warning you that the calibration is going to take 40 to 70 minutes for the Trident to complete. So once you get here, you're just going to want to click on the next button. All right, and in this screen here, you're just going to select your Trident. And then, of course, we're going to put in our... Now, if you have a calibration fluid, this does not come with a calibration fluid. If you have a calibration flu fluid, you can put your readings for your alkalinity, your magnesium, and your calcium here. Otherwise, uh, what I do is I just use my readings from the Salifert test kit uh, that I've just taken from my tank and I just put those readings in here. So I'm essentially using my tank water to calibrate the Trident, which is perfectly fine. I've been doing it for quite a while and it, it works just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put those numbers in now. Once you've done that, just click next. And this is telling you to put your, your pickup line into your calibration bottle. We don't need to do that. If you're doing what I'm doing in my case, I just leave it where it is in the tank. I'm gonna pull up more tank water and use that as calibrating my system. So you just go ahead and click the next button. And then here it just says if you uh, you accept all this, you click send, uh, the calibration will begin. All right, and then to finish it off, it just tells you that the Trident will turn orange when it's completed again. Right now, while it's calibrating, the front of the Trident is gonna be blue. And that's it. You click finish. It'll take you back to the main screen. And then you can go back into your, your main, uh, you can see it's initializing there. Disregard this reading here, guys. This, this reading wasn't accurate because my alkalinity reagent was pretty well empty. So I saw a big drop happen in it. That's why I'm doing this but I did test it with the, the Salifert test kit and uh, got an accurate reading before doing this calibration. Okay guys, I'm not gonna keep you here obviously while this is calibrating because it takes uh, 40 to 70 minutes as we all know. Okay guys, while we're waiting for the Triton to do its thing and finish calibrating, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the pricing here and let you guys in on some exciting news. But this is uh, bluewatercoral.ca. This is their website. You can see here, if you bring your own bottles for refill, a two-month kit is only $29.95, four-month kit is only $54.95, and a six-month kit is only $79.95. If you don't have bottles, you have the option to get what I just got from them and that was those white bottles that it'll come in and you can fill it yourself and if you get those those kits and you don't bring your own bottles then the pricing it just slightly goes up $34.95, $62.95, $89.95. If you do get the six month kit though I see here that they will include a 100 ml of the Fauna Marin multi-reference solution so you can calibrate off of that so that's a sweet deal. But to make this even better and even sweeter of a deal, Blue Water Coral 
has been kind enough to offer all of my subscribers that are watching this video a 10% discount. Uh, of course, this is only available to Canadian residents at the moment, but uh, you can go to a link that I'm going to attach in my description below. You follow that link to bluewatercoral.ca website and you will get an automatic 10% discount off of any of these ABC reagents you decide to purchase. Also, if you are in the local area to Blue Water Coral, which is in Niagara on Lake, Ontario, you can use that same code, just walk in and mention this video or mention that uh, you know about the Niagara Fire Coral ABC reagent, 10% discount, and they will honor the discount at, for walk-in customers as well. So make sure you guys check out bluewatercoral.ca. Okay guys, since we're on the topic of reagents and the trident i know that a lot of people out there are asking the question if you can change the programming on your trident and yes the answer is yes you can i will take you guys through the steps to change it the simplest way uh, if you want to simply just back off on how much it's testing so what i'm going to show you how to do is cut your testing in half so your two month kit essentially will last you four months a four month kit eight months it's going to double it up so i'll show you how you can test change it to test your alkalinity only twice a day instead of four times and your calcium and magnesium once a day instead of twice so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to these gears right here on your on your apex and now to do this, you've got to be in your Apex Local. Don't go to your Apex Fusion. You want to go to Apex Local. So once you go into that little gear icon, you're going to want to go here to your modules. And this is your modules. You can see my EB8s. I got three of them. My PM1 module, my dose. And here's my Triton. Now in my case, my Triton is module seven this is just in my case yours might be module four five six so you have to go here check what number your triton is so mine is seven and then i will show you what to do with from here but you're gonna have to remember this number the that the module is module seven and like i said in your case that number is going to be different or it could be seven all right, so from here, you're going to go back to your main page and then you any of your modules you have here, click on any one of them. So I'll click on my skimmer here on the gear icon. Let's open my program up here. So from here, you want to go up to your toolbar, click on that. And you can see that this opened up here. Uh, Apex config outlet six underscore seven. Well, six underscore seven would be for my skimmer. So you just click there backspace to you're just in front of the outlets forward slash and then like in my case mine seven I'll put a seven there now it already came up because I've already done this but you would put seven and then you want to do underscore three for the first one so yours could be four underscore three or five underscore three just put in whatever module your Triton was underscore three exactly as you see in my toolbar there click on it now what this has done is it's brought me into the programming for the triton so this one the underscore three this is the programming for your all of your tests so what this is saying is it's going to come on at midnight for one minute and then 719 plus the one minute would be 720 minutes later, which is exactly 12 hours, it's gonna come on again. So that's gonna test at midnight and at noon. And if we were to go into the alkalinity one, the alkalinity is gonna test in between those. So the alkalinity will test at midnight, 6 a.m., noon, and 6 p.m. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to change this. So if you wanted all your tests to be performed the way we already spoke, 
I'll show you what you do. You just click here. We're going to go in here. We're going to delete this. And then you're just going to type if time. Let's say I wanted it to come on at 8 a.m. That's it. Okay. So if time 8 to 801, then on. And then you would just refresh that. And there you go. So what that's saying to the Triton now is it's going to perform all the tests, your alkalinity, your calcium and your magnesium at eight o'clock every morning. So that takes care of your one calcium and magnesium test and one alkalinity test. Now we'll go back up to this same power bar again, where we have the underscore three, in my case, seven underscore three. We change that three to a four. Enter, and you can see here, it says alkalinity seven underscore four. So now this is the programming for my alkalinity. And this is saying at, you know, six hours past zero, which would be midnight. So 6 a.m. for one minute, it's gonna come on. And then again at 6 p.m. So to change this one, We'll just go like this and let's say if time, so eight o'clock at night would be 22. Then on. So if time eight to 801, then on. We'll refresh that and there we go. So now my alkalinity is going to test from 8 o'clock p.m. to 8.01 p.m. And then if we go back to the other one that I started with. And then all tests will be performed at 8 a.m. to 8.01 a.m. So that would give you two alkalinity tests and one calcium and magnesium test a day. Cutting your testing in half and therefore extending your reagent life twice as long. Hopefully this helped guys. If there's any questions with this part of programming your Triton to change it, uh, just drop a line in the comments below. I'm, I'm usually good at replying to everybody that does comment. And uh, yeah, give it a try guys. If you want to extend your, uh, your reagents longer, this is how it's done. Okay guys, so we're back. You can see here that my calibration is complete it says idle and these are the exact numbers that we had put in for the calibration so everything with that went well so don't forget if you guys are looking to get yourself some abc reagents i'm going to leave a link in my description below if you use that link it's uh through niagara fire corals to bluewatercoral.ca you will receive a 10% discount. So if this stuff wasn't already cheap enough at 50% what we were used to paying, now you're getting an additional 10% off. How about that? And I just showed you guys how you can cut your testing in half, which is gonna make it last twice as long. We're all about saving money in this hobby if we can. Well, here's one way that you can save a ton of money. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that uh, you guys are going to take advantage of the discount you can get on these ABC reagents. I would not be putting all of my systems on the line if I didn't have total confidence in these reagents. So I hope you guys do too. And until the next time, make sure you take care and happy reefing.